Henry Cavill is done as Superman. So I'm going to react in the same way a preschool child would act when not receiving their favorite sucker from the teacher. Super upset! Here's the deal. People are on Twitter and they are furious that Henry Cavill may no longer be Superman because there's rumors flying around that he's not going to be him anymore. Are they true? I don't know. Am I going to act like they are? Of course. I think it's no secret that Zack Snyder, a visionary director of BVS and some other stuff, casted the perfect Man of Steel. Was the movie bad? No, it was a masterpiece. Did I want to see another one? Absolutely. Are we going to get to? I don't know. Probably not. Not if these rumors are true. And I think they are because I have nothing to base them off of. Hey, Notification Squad, shout out if you're there. Thanks for showing up today. Hit that like button, smash that like button. Make sure that bell's turned on, you get that notification. Thanks, Notification Squad. You're gonna see a lot of videos talking about how much DC screwed up on this and Warner Brothers, who, who does these films. And you know what, I, I have to say, as much as I love the DC flicks, I think they're just as good as uh, the MCU, possibly even better, because they're just so much more grounded and serious and deep. There's so much depth to them. There's so much fucking depth to those movies! One of the things I've been hearing is there's a lot of shakeups going on in the DC Warner world right now with these movies. They want to focus on female-led films because Wonder Woman was so successful and because just that movie. Do I like the decisions that DC and Warner are making right now? Um, who am I to really judge? Because I think they've been doing such a stellar job already with these films that there's really nothing I can add to it. You know, Suicide Squad, I think, pretty much proved that uh, we don't know what we're talking about, and, and we should just let Jesus take the wheel on this. They're, they're batting 1,000 when it comes to these flicks. So, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Batman in this anymore? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Is Ben, ben Affleck still Batman? Who cares? Because we're only interested in now strong female leads to take over this franchise. If anything, they should just kill Batman and Superman off. But back to being offended. Am I not going to get Man of Steel 2 now? Is that just off the table? Is that gone? Or maybe Man of Steel 2 does come out. We do like a House of Cards situation where Henry Cavill's killed off screen. Um, and, and Supergirl takes the mantle. And they call it Female of Steel. I guess I'm like a piece of paper that's been grabbed at both ends and pulled on. Because I'm torn over this controversy. I'm torn over this news. Because on the one hand, which is this one. I love me Man of Steel, I love me that Henry Cavill, I wanted to see him continue, but on the other hand, which is one that's off screen that you can't see, not this one, <laughs> I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, sorry, it's off screen, on that hand, I, I love the fact that we're getting some strong female leads, it's about time. Side note, if you haven't subscribed to The Cringe yet, uh, <laughs> why not? I do a lot of these great videos, make sure to smash that subscribe button, cool beans. But why can't we have our cock and eat it too, is what I want to know. I, 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 I think I get what they're trying to do here. We had that Man of Steel standalone. Then we killed his ass in BBS and teased that he would be coming back, making that death completely pointless. Then we give him like 15 minutes in Justice League, kind of, because only half of his face is there. The rest of it's a cartoon. He would get a much bigger role in the next film because he's back, he's the Superman we've all been waiting for. So then, boom, you kill him off. You take those expectations and you kick him off to the curb. You last Jedi this bitch. And we're gonna kill him off in what is clearly the next step for this studio, which is SVW, Supergirl versus Wonder Woman. Bring back Lex Luthor, gotta bring him back. We introduce Supergirl, of course, in this film for the first time. She's bitter, she's upset, she's dark, she's angsty, and she hates Wonder Woman. And they're not going to communicate at all throughout this thing, except for give each other some evil glances, and then try to murder each other. Then at the end of the film, right when the final blow is struck, Supergirl realizes that Wonder Woman and her had a boyfriend with the same name. And we already know that boyfriend from Wonder Woman, so this is going to be big for the audience, too. It's going to be that Martha moment we've all been waiting for again. And since women have really no characteristics outside of who they dated in films, that's going to be big because that's what, that's going to be Supergirl and Wonder Woman's character development. It's like, oh, we both love this guy. 
boys, right? Girls are always fighting over them. But this time it's gonna bring them together. Aha! It's Supergirl versus Wonder Woman. It's gonna be the greatest matchup in the history of the world. Again, it's the cousin of Kal-El versus the Amazonian. I love bringing people together! Ha! Cool beans, thanks for watching. Now if you excuse me, I have to run onto the internet, see what else is trending that I can talk about. Nerd alert! I'm super pumped! to talk to you some more. So make sure to subscribe to The Cringe, which is at Adam Does Movies on YouTube. You can check out more of The Cringe if you like what I'm doing, and I think you do. Take care. It's like I'm leaving, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>